I'm Scott Bain. They call me the old farmer. Today, I'm the old farmer. My very first cutting board from scratch coming up next. My experience growing up on the farm was always building fences, sheds, the crude type of uh, woodworking that you would do. Maybe it would be called carpentry rather than woodworking. But it was it's the very coarse stuff. You put it together with uh, nails, you know, the big spikes, and you hammer it into place, and that's how you build things. Well, one of the very first projects I made back about 30 years ago well, maybe 35 years ago in our very first house is I made this very big heavy duty all out of ash this was a storage bin with lid and it was all out of ash and it was very crudely made and it really wasn't good for anything but this is our third move and we moved it three times so I took a little bit of the uh, ash off the uh, top of the uh, box that I made out of ash wood and I joined it with some uh, red oak because I like red oak a little bit better than I do white oak and some maple and I made my son a cutting board and this is the process that I went through. Notice that I have a tally light that every time the table saw turns on the light comes on so not only can I hear it but if for example dust collection is too loud I also see that the table saw is operating. This is the first time I've used uh, uh, larger scale processes for woodworking. Um, I might have built a slab style uh, cutting board in the past, but this is the first one where I build it out of pieces, cut the pieces myself. I don't have uh, a planer and I don't have one of those drum sanders that you run it through. So uh, this is all done by hand. And I'm learning that you don't need quite as much glue as what I used in this process. Luckily, the workbench has a tremendous amount of uh, uh, Johnson's paste wax on it. So uh, it's easy to clean the glue off the uh, workbench. Now, during this process, building this uh, uh, cutting board, I'm going through and any of the glue that came out that I can get by a chisel, I will, because glue will dull a hand planer rather quickly. So I had to sharpen it several times to get through the whole project. And of course, I put the whole thing together in, in stages and then I glued uh, the little bundles together into one complete cutting board. And behind me you can see that there's the Franklin workbench that I demonstrated in the last video. I used it quite a bit. I went through and, and cut the cutting board to length on each side so it's equal. I went through and used, first of all, a belt sander on the whole thing. Because one of the things I noticed, I did not get it as level as I wanted to when I glued the pieces together. Oh, maybe a sixteenth of an inch off. But uh, I wanted it to feel smooth all the way across the way that the cutting board should feel. So, first of all, it's the belt sander on both sides. Then it's the orbital sander to smooth it down. And I'm using the workbench to hold the thing in place. I didn't show you doing the, the finish on it. It's basically mineral oil and a beeswax. 
uh, melted together and I put three or four coatings on that and then I did a heavy duty one and wrapped it in saran wrap and then took it and had it shipped down to my son and when he saw it he thought I had purchased uh, a cutting board from some expert and then he realized that I had actually made it for him and uh, he was quite impressed with it so uh, and I'm impressed with what I turned out too it's better than what I thought it would be so this is the old farmer Scott Bain saying be well Down on the farm.